Talk to him for a minute. I want to welcome you all here and say what a great day this is for the American Navy, the Australian Navy, for America, and for Australia. Particularly appreciate Commodore being here with us to sign this historic agreement. Every place I have gone, virtually around the world, we've talked about energy security and energy independence. And this represents one step in that. And there's no more fitting thing to do than to have this agreement with one of our longest and closest allies. The Australian government, the American government, the Australian Navy, the American Navy both recognize that this makes us better war fighters. This cuts us free from foreign oil. This helps us become better navies. And so, thank you so much. Thank your CNO so much for doing this. But today is a very historic day. We've shown that biofuels, mixture of biofuels and regular fuels work on American service combatants, on helicopters, American helicopters, and now on Australian helicopters, which just got refueled on the flight deck. Thank you very much. If I could just say a few words, um, as the Secretary has just spoken, uh, one of our aircraft is refueling as we speak right above us. Um, I will then take that helicopter over to one of our ships that's operating here as part of RIMPAC. The fact that we're here doing this, the fact that we're able to uh, be part of this, I think is a demonstration of the close ties that we have uh, and, and the acknowledgement that we have that if we wish to work together into the future, we need to be working together uh, in alignment and for us that means a commitment to look at the same sorts of things that you are doing here now, sir. Uh, and so by the signing of this document, it's our commitment to do those sorts of things into the future. Thank you for the opportunity to be part of what is a, a big initiative. Um, and I can uh, I commit to you that we'll be looking to the future for the sorts of things that you're trying to do here.